Welcome to my presentation concerning the BigleWire software support. My name is Patrick Merchett, and my project's mentor are Michael Wellin and Jonathan Cameron. I'm a 22 years old student from Poland, currently in my third year of engineering studies at Gdańsk University of Technology. I'm interested in electronics and embedded systems. This is my second Google Summer of Code edition. Last year, I also participated with BigleWire community. I have been using BigleBomb boards for the last few years, and I still enjoy work with them. The BigleBoard.org offers a lot of interesting creations board, such as Pocketbone, BigleBoard Blue or BigleBoard X15. In my opinion, BigleBoard Black is probably the best platform for learning. Its the biggest advantages are probably its installation and startup. On the slide, you can see a brief overview of the parameters that are sufficient for more hobbyists as well as for those more advanced. Let's move on to the presentation of the most important hardware component, that is BigleWire. BigleWire is a FPGA development platform that has been designed for use with BigleBone boards. BigleWire is a cape on which there is a FPGA device, that is IC40HX. The lattice IC40 is a family of FPGAs with a minimalistic architecture and very regular structure, designed for low-cost, high-volume customer and system applications. Before Google Summer of Code, me and Michael came up with an idea to build BigleWire. We created the product specification and then proceeded to make the board using KiCad. That's how the board was created. On the board, we can see a lot of additional elements which extend the possibilities of the board. For example, is the RAM uh, for LEDs to user buttons, a few com connectors, and a lot more. Take a look at how amazing BigleWire looks place on BigleBone. My project is divided into three main tasks. The first task is to create a convenient and easy to implement way for programming BigleWire. The programming is carried out with the use of SPI interface and two additional lines. Half a year ago, someone released a kernel support for ICE40, enabling programming. My job will to be add the required elements to BigleBone kernel image. Next task consists on porting open source toolchain, developed by Cryford, Wolf, and Yosef's team. This toolchain has all the components for synthesizing, verilog, testing and programming the ICE40 device. During the second phase of the project, I will create an easy to implement and efficient communication bridge between FPGA and ARM. For that purpose, I will use GPMC controller, which allows to connect external NAND or SRAM memories. The bridge configuration is done in DTS files, so it's very simple. A module should be created for FPGA, which will limit the memory and share easy to implement solutions for user logic. The whole bridge module has to be as simple as possible, because IC40 has limited logic. Using GPMC controller is very convenient and efficient, because it has very wide data bus. Communication is very simple, consisting of typical reading and writing operations. This is a great advantage. At this stage, the product will receive support for users' application IRM. C library and Python extension make it possible to easily write application based on the combination of bigger wire and bigger bone. The third and the last phase shows how interesting is the combination of BigleBone and BigleWire. At this point, the project will obtain examples and ready to use solutions. The project isn't only intended for learning or for programmers who know very well. BigleWire is designed to expand the possibilities of BigleBone. Thanks to ready solutions, which will require only pre-programming, for example additional GPO, SPI or more. Now I would like to say something about the software and tools that will help me during the realization of my task. I'm using Vim environment. I included its main advantages on the slide. These are easy to use, has only advantages. Another important element is Git and GitHub, which gives us clear control over the code's version, possibilities to share the code with others from the very beginning. During hardware debugging, I will use oscilloscope and logic analyzer. These tools help to quickly localize of gaps and bugs. More information can be found in the following links. I'll encourage you have to have a look on them every once in a while. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Finally, I would like to thank the entire community and mentors. I'm especially thankful to my mentors for their support during the draft preparation and to Michael for a good cooperation in designing the board and assembling the first prototypes. Many thanks to Jason Kreitner for help in getting the elements needed to make prototypes and to Jeff Fostini for help in getting PCBs.